Oh, maiden fair of Snork, how lovely is your walk? <gasps> what was that? What? <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> Sorry, it'll be bigger when we get there. I'll leave you two lovebirds to your romantic adventure. I think the work basket fell in the river, all by itself. We'll have to go back. I wouldn't worry too much. Little Mai is very resourceful. Oh, I was thinking about the bait. She was definitely here. Mm, but she's not anymore. It looks like she took the bait. You mean, someone has ensnared her? No, I mean she's taken the bait. My trout bait. Ah! Oh. Oops. Oh. Unless you can cook up a good reason why you drain my swimming pool, or a decent meal, then you're in big trouble. Don't worry, I'm sure the boys will be home with something soon. Oh. Unless we burn our way out. And burn the house down? <gasps> Not a good idea. Ghost stories. Practicing being brave, eh? Honestly, it's no wonder she hasn't come to see you again. If you're referring to Snork Maiden, she's coming to stay tomorrow night, actually. Hmm. Well, make sure you don't shiver to pieces in front of her. Moving troll, we really need to be. Little Mai, you're still here. I stay behind to tell you where to go. Oh, isn't this nice? Just you and me. And your friend Steve. Oh, you still don't get it, do you? Why did you write that stupid letter? Oh, because... Because if she was here, she would ruin everything. What is there to ruin? <laughs> don't you ever get so angry it starts eating at you from the inside? Yes. You are my whole world. Oh. Snuffkin! I think I have a pretty good idea what that might feel like. Hiya. <gasps> it's all mine. Where's he off to? What are you seeing, that guy? He makes me laugh. <laughs> we'll miss you, dear. Can I see? Oh. Oh, my painting is ruined. Does it really matter? It's so small, who will ever see it? I like small things. I like small things. So have you told her about the seahorses yet? What seahorses? <laughs> Are they for cleaning the air? <laughs> Wrong. How would that even work? It's called photosynthesis. Come on, she's making that up. That's a made-up word, people. Oh. Um, do they provide a nice home for animals? <laughs> Ah, oh, little fluffy cutie pies with their ickle noses and earses and... No! Yuck! Hmm. No! <laughs> when it comes to family ties, it's all about gut instinct. When you know, you know. You mean... Yep. Just call me Little Brisk. So amazing! And even if Moomin Papa is a little upset, I suppose it's worth it to find your real dad. Hug? No, thanks. Yes, please. Oh. Why do you have to be all doom and gloom the whole time? Why do you have to be so cheerful? I thought you artists always look for the truth. Yeah, of course. Well, look. <coughs> oh. Truth is, 
Bad things happen all the time. You need to open your eyes. You slept so long, your doll's house is trying to escape. Was it something I said? Yes, it was. And you were right, too. I've opened my eyes and seen what life's really like. What's the point of art when everything is so dreadful? Jeepers. I'd say you just got out of bed on the wrong side. But you'd have to get up first. Shut the door on your way out. Or don't. Doesn't make any difference to me. These windows are filthy. What would Mrs. Fleonk say? I know what you're trying to do, so don't bother. You're right. At first, I was just pretending to shake you out of your silly sulk. But I'm really getting into it now. Maybe this art stuff isn't as pointless as I thought. Oh, it's no use. This tableau, as beautifully crafted as it is, is a relic from my old life before I saw the truth. It's time to move house. Oh. Bad things happen all the time. You need to open your eyes. Trying to help you look on the bright side. I don't want to look on the bright side. The only reason I'm so doom and gloom the whole time is I don't like being surprised when something bad happens. Huh. I suppose I'm always cheerful because I'm worried if I'm not, then something bad will happen and I'll have missed my chance. Huh. In that case, I'm sorry for what I said about Moomin Troll. He's probably fine. Oh, no, you were bang on about that. He's bound to be in huge trouble by now. <laughs> Come on. I think this doll's house is done for anyway. Don't you mean tableau? Nah. There's nothing wrong with a doll's house. <laughs> Tradition dictates the midsummer bonfire is not lit till night time. What a dreary old windbag. Oh, I don't know. I love all the midsummer traditions. <sighs> You'll see. All sorts of magical things happen at midsummer. It'll take more than magic to make me wear that. Two seconds later. This is just what we need. No! about yeah of course don't you know the midsummer magic you can do with a well you sound ridiculous i was supposed to do the midsummer's eve spell with moomin troll but i can do it with you instead if you like unless you're too scared of course first you have to pick seven kinds of flowers and herbs then, you turn round seven times and stamp your feet. The only magic this is going to make is me being magically sick. Now walk backwards to the well. Sounds sensible. Here's the best part. When you look into the well, you'll see the face of the one who is destined to be your soulmate. Well, well. Who is it? Who is it? It's only a silly old spell. No, it's not that. I just got the weirdest feeling about Moomin Troll all of a sudden. Like he's... Like he's what? Like he's lost. There'll always be a light to guide you home. 